Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. Today, I'm gonna update my recipe binder. Here's my current recipe binder. It is kind of falling apart. If you like the printables that I have on the cover and on the back and on the side, I'm gonna have those linked below. But I had a couple of problems with this binder. It wasn't quite thick enough at only one inch, and I had way too many sections. You notice, notice all of these sections here. Sometimes a recipe would fall into one of two sections, so a lot of times I couldn't find it. So I'm gonna pare that down today. Here in the front cover is where I print recipes that I want to try and just stick them in the front cover. Then once we try them, if we love them, I will file them in the book. If we don't, I will just throw it away. But you see I have way too many, so I need to pare through those and just figure out what I'm actually going to try and then throw away the ones that were not but everything is just put in page protectors. You see it's not uniform, it's not all typed up or written out. In a perfect world, they would all look the same, but in my reality, I just print recipes and stick them in page protectors and put them in there. This is going to be my new binder. It's a one and a half inch, so it will not only fit everything I have, but it has room to grow. I really liked the color of it. We already had these here at the house, just these um, dividers. There's only five of them, which is going to force me to have less sections, which is gonna cause less confusion, which is great. And then I printed out new covers, cover the front cover, back cover, and then the side from that same website that I have linked below in the description box. To get started, I'm just going to put the new covers on there. I really love that this matches this notebook so well like it was made to go together and then it's time to put the one on the side and I have so many problems doing this and unless you have a really stiff piece of paper and I even tried putting cardstock through there it doesn't work um, it won't go all the way down so I'm just using this roller adhesive to just put this on the side of the binder unfortunately I cannot get it to go into that little cover The five categories I went with were appetizers, side dishes, main dishes, slow cooker, and desserts. So I'm starting in that front pocket that I had all of those recipes printed out, pared those down. I just have the ones I know I want to try, and I'm going to put them in the front pocket of the new binder. Now I'm gonna start going through my old recipe binder to decide what I'm gonna keep and what I'm gonna get rid of. I know these pages are a definite keep. They are measurement conversions and baking substitutions. They come in very handy. I got them from Carrie L. I'm pretty sure I had to purchase them as part of her recipe club that I did for a while. I'll leave a link to her website below. And then it's just time to go through all of my recipes and decide what I'm gonna keep and how to recombine all of my recipes into only five sections, whereas before I had like, I think I had nine or 10 sections. This was all of the junk that was getting thrown out. These were old recipes that I just never make anymore. All kinds of different things that were just in that recipe book that really honestly I did not need. And here's my brand new binder. I really like how it turned out. I like that it's all clean and it's not messy anymore. All of these recipes are definitely ones we're gonna try here soon. And then if we like them, they will get filed in the binder with the rest. I've got my conversions and my um, substitutions there in the front, which come in handy. And then I've just got my five sections. In the back pocket, I just have extra recipe cards to write on, extra paper, and page protectors. And that's it. I have room to grow and I can find everything a lot easier now. Leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment below. Let me know how do you organize all of your recipes. I'd love to hear. If you haven't already, I'd love for you to subscribe and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.